Peck looks like he could be a basketball player. He does. He's tall and lanky, if that's possible, for a heavyweight. Crawl is usually, <laughs> is usually the more slightly built heavy in matches, but I'd say he might have a weight advantage here today. For sure. Peck's having a nice sophomore season, 13 and 6 on the year. Placed sixth at Midlands and won the award for most falls. He, he pinned four opponents at the Midland Championships. Got on a heck of a roll up in Evanston back in December. Crawl eight and seven on the year. He's having a nice junior campaign as well. Got a six nothing decision Friday night against Renfro for Michigan State. Peck did not wrestle in Bloomington. His teammate, Yusuf Hamida, lost a major decision. A minute in, and despite the fact that neither man looking too much like a heavyweight, it's been a heavyweight bout so far. Sure has. Defensive takedown there from Crawl. He gets back and he's around. Now he will try and lift this six foot six opponent. Good job by Peck. Created some separation and able to get away. Two to one now for Crawl. Well, let's see if Crawl can set up some shots here. I know he's been in with those underhooks several times early on in the match. Hasn't really had much offense off of him, though. Peck has lost his last two matches. To eighth ranked Sam Stoll of Iowa and ninth ranked Billy Smith of Rutgers. Gives a glance to the clock under a minute to go in the first. Crawl's really getting heavy on that head. The Boilermakers trying to take nine of ten bouts contested today. Continues. It's going to be tough to wrestle when you're that long, I would think. You know, it, so much of, I guess if you know how to use your leverage, so much of, of the 285 weight class is brute strength. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to, uh, hard to battle that when you're three feet away from somebody. Yeah, Peck can definitely create space with that wingspan. I sit out here. Crawl does a good job staying with the ankle. Stays behind. Peck quickly to his feet. Crawl busts him back to the mat. will drop down to the ankles out of bounds. That's a wise choice by Crawl. Doesn't have to worry about a count on ankles at the edge of the mat. Crawl's got to put on, or Crawl's got to work on putting more weight on Peck's hands here. Seems like Peck's pretty easily able to stand up when he wants. <laughs> Went a little bit too quick there. Boy, Peck, he, he looks like he's got the capacity to gain quite a bit of weight. Very large body frame. Crawl trying to put a ceiling on Peck here. Actually reaching back. Peck's able to escape. 55 seconds of ride time accumulated by Tyler Crawl. And Peck in with a single. Finishes it off easily. Crawl quickly to his feet, trailing four to two. A minute remaining in the second. 
Now Crawl will have to build up from bottom. Yeah, Peck looking for that chicken wing. Tyler Crawl, the only Boilermaker to win against Penn State a little over a week ago. Trying to go 3-0 and in the Big Ten. He can turn this one around. Nothing doing so far. Peck's got him spread out. Controlling that wrist. Time completely wiped away. Peck, 15 seconds, looking at a half. Crawl to his feet. He's an escape here, and instead it's Peck carrying him out of bounds. Back to the middle they go, five seconds left. For something quick off the whistle here. Yeah, I'll see if you can sneak a point out here before in the period. His feet, two and one, and cannot break the hands. So four to two, headed to the third. Crawl, conflicting information. He thinks he wants neutral, and that's the way he'll go. Coach Todd tried to talk him into going bottom. In the end, it comes down to whatever what the wrestler truly wants. Whatever he's most comfortable with. Crawl with the underhook. Running. Well, he's been able to get to the underhook all match. Let's see if he can get some offense. He's tired, Carl. Get it going. Heavy snap there. There. 40 left. Heavy snap. Riding time not a factor. Heavy snap. Good. Good head snap by Crawl. Whistle, I'm not sure why. Interlocking. Well, I think no. there's a finger stuck in headgear. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could hurt. Have to restart them to dislocate your finger, no doubt. 115 left. Crawl. Needing some offense for the Boilermakers. It's single there. If he can finish it off, Peck immediately drops his hips. And he's in a very defensive position here. Yeah, let's we'll see if Crawl can get anything out of this crackdown position. Crawl looking to drive his hips forward, and he needs to get his head out under a minute to go. We're going to split the legs. And he gets his takedown. It's four to four. Forty seconds left. Crawl will look to turn him from bottom or go to sudden victory. Like some of his teammates, Crawl's working for that chicken wing. Run it. Had him turn briefly. Now Crawl's hips under in a reversal for Peck. Nearly took Crawl right to his back. Just slipped out of it. Good move. Good counter move from Dawson Peck. He will be paid off with the decision here. As he's able to roll crawl through two-point near fall and win eight to four for Dawson Peck. The Boilermakers take the duel, 32 to six. Nice bounce-back victory for this Purdue side.